Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gus, and I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary. Right now, you're watching uh, Halo gameplay. I think I did decent in this game. I don't know. You guys check it out. But um, on to the more important thing, um, the commentary. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what I want to talk about, is I basically want to talk about how YouTube is helping to destroy the Call of Duty um, franchise, and I believe it's probably, if not 100% destroyed, pretty much very close to just being destroyed to where the game is just unplayable. And the reason why is that I just think that YouTube is highlighting all the cheapness in the game, you know, the importance of KD, so people no longer play to have fun, they play for a high KD. You know, let me give you an example. Yesterday I was surfing you YouTube like I usually do, and I see one of my favorite YouTube personalities out there, and he posts a video of this guy who's just doing the worst camping I've ever seen. I mean, he's in a freaking room with claymores by the window. You know, he's got a trophy system set up. He's got a freaking riot shield there hiding behind it with a, the most overpowered shotgun in the game. And, you know, at first he's talking shit about him, but then, you know, he keeps... I think he made, like, two or three videos about this guy. You know, and now this dude, this camper... He opened up a channel yesterday. He's got one video last I checked, and it'll be the last time I check. He's got one video. It's about maybe 30 seconds long, and he's got over a thousand subscribers. You know, now who are these subscribers? Who knows? But I would, I would probably think that most of them are kids. But it doesn't really matter. Obviously, people are, you know, intrigued by this guy, and you know, in my opinion, I think it's mostly children out there. You know, 12 year olds, whatever, and they think because this. YouTube person I which has over a hundred thousand subscribers is saying oh this guy you know he bought a new level of camping blah 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 basically pumping them up that now they get the ideas you know from this guy and it's already highlighted how important KD is I mean it's funny how all these YouTube personalities always say oh you know it's not important you know blah 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 but they always they never fail to mention how high their KD is so these kids who aren't playing the game they're thinking well it is important, you know, so instead of enjoying the game, playing the game to have fun, playing the game to be competitive, they're basically playing to raise their KD. So what does that mean? That means, you know, more camping, more use of cheap perks, so on and so forth. You know, and I think a lot of this is brought on by the YouTube community. I mean, if you look at it, look up Call of Duty videos on YouTube, and it'll probably pull up endless amounts of Call of Duty videos. I mean, the presence of Call of Duty commentaries and so on and so forth, just videos that are online showing different strategies, it's just outrageous. You know, and so that, that's the thing. Whether they want to admit it or not, Call of Duty, excuse me, the commentators over Call of Duty, they have a lot of influence, you know. So when you preach something, you got to make sure that you're preaching the right message. You know, if you really feel that the game is there to have fun, then preach that. Don't preach old KD and this and that, you know, then you've got all these jerks, jerkwads out there get, giving tips and tricks. You know, you have people that make th tens of thousands of dollars a year giving tips and tricks. Another thing that destroys the franchise because you have all these people giving theirs where you can hide on the map, blah, 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 you can do this, how you can do this to raise your KD and, you know, if you hide behind this rock or this box you can get a good line of sight basically just creating more camping destroying the game you know and that's the thing Call of Duty is at a point where you can't get any more cheap you can't get through one game where some guy isn't using some lame ass tactic you know lying prone or hiding somewhere or not moving it's just ridiculous and the thing is these you these YouTube people need to understand that all they're doing is destroying the game every time they bring to light some new you know trick so-called trick that's gonna help your KD it's usually some cheap ass shit you know and, and and yesterday was just a breaking point when you actually highlight a camper and basically celebrate him it's just disgusting it truly is disgusting because all you're doing is now you've got a thousand plus subs on this guy, you know, that are going to watch his videos, think he's cool, and emulate him. You know, you just basically created 
just with one video and who knows how many subscribers he has that could be around the 2000 you know mark now you've created basically that many more campers 1000 more campers 2000 more campers that are going to do the exact same crap i guarantee that this guy is you know because he wasn't funny he didn't look entertaining to me he looked like a total jackass but the thing is people are going to think this guy is cool because they're here on youtube is promoting him you know and that's one thing that has to stop if we're gonna if they want to make this game a better game they need to use their influence you know which it's it's a huge influence i mean some of these guys they've got 500,000 subscribers a million if you're telling me that you can't change the game you know then you're just kidding yourself because obviously you have influence if you have a million followers because you make Call of Duty videos and you've got a million people that are going to listen to your voice and say, hey, you know what, maybe this guy knows what he's talking about. Maybe this isn't the way I should play. But if you promote this kind of crap, you know, continue to talk about KD, then that's exactly what they're going to think. They're going to think, well, you know what, it is important, so I need to do whatever I can. If my aim isn't where it needs to be, then I need to camp. You know, I need to hide to get high scores. And all you're going to do is continue to make the game more boring you're going to chase more people away and basically ruin a franchise that was once great. You know, I used to love Call of Duty. Now I can't stand it because, you know, beyond the camping, you've got these people in every game that are going to use some kind of cheap-ass tactic. And basically, this jackass who was camping basically said it himself that he was basically there doing those tactics, just basically there to fuck up the game. So he admitted himself. He doesn't care, care about fucking the gameplay. He doesn't care about anything but basically pissing people off. You know, which, hey, you know what? More power to him, but he's definitely not helping the gaming experience. He's definitely not helping people go in there and enjoy themselves. He's basically make turning the fucking game into a camp fest. You know, and I'm frustrated with it because I don't, I seriously don't care about KD. You know, I have a full time job, YouTube isn't my job. Playing games aren't my job. I, I play games to relax. And when you see people playing like that, it's just... You know, why even play? The only way you can compete with these people is basically to do the same garbage. And I don't like playing that way. So anyway, I mean, if I can give you any message, it's just if anyone's listening to this video, even if it's one person, you know, that I can influence to not... Not emulate those tactics, and I feel I did my job. Don't do it. It's not fun. It hurts the game, you know, and you're just not going to get anything out of it except looking like a total dirtbag. So please don't do it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks a lot. Peace.